it's been four years and we are finally getting on an aeroplane to go abroad. Any guesses where we're going? I'm sure you can easily guess where we're going. Excited, tired. <laughs> and uh, yeah, now just sat in the lounge drinking tea, waiting for our flight. It is 25 past nine. Our flight is at 10 past 11. So plenty of time to wait, but I just wanted to say hi and welcome you aboard this new vlog series. I'm so excited about this. I've been looking forward to vlogging with this new camera and doing like a full proper thing. When we've been on holiday, I've got like all the batteries for the GoPro and I've got all the proper SD cards as well. So plenty of space, plenty of footage and plenty of bloopers because we've already had one and I've only been recording for a minute, 30 seconds. So yes, we're going on holiday. We're going on a May holiday. We can't say we're going on a summer holiday because it's not summer yet. Also, I'm going to take this opportunity to mention that Manchester Airport has been busy during the last four years because everything has changed. It is a bit of a maze. Security is in like a new place, but as it's really big, massive, very pretty sign and then you, you kind of come out of security and then it's kind of a bit of a maze to get to where all the the restaurants and stuff are and still don't even quite know where all the gates are so you know this this holiday is a brand new adventure because it's i feel as if i'm like in a brand new airport even though i've been come, traveling to florida from this airport for years and years and years and years, and years. i no longer feel like i know like the back of my hand because it's that different <laughs> Orlando Airport I, uh... and when we were getting the car we found a Starbucks you know I said how Manchester had changed its layout I feel like Orlando Airport has also changed some of its layout but it did mean that we did find a Starbucks so this is the Mango Dragon lemonade we don't get this in the UK um, it's quite nice actually what do you think Matthew it's good mm. it's like a pink lemonade but with actual flavor I get what you mean. We are actually not heading to Disney straight away. We are going on a three night cruise first. So we are heading down to Cocoa Beach. Um, Port Canaveral. Port Canaveral is apparently, I think Cocoa Beach is next near or next to Port Canaveral. Yeah. So that's where we are heading. Um, we're staying overnight in a hotel and then the cruise is tomorrow. Cruise. Basically, if you watched my 2018 Disney vlogs, it's, that but the other way around so starting with the cruise ending with disney rather than starting with disney and ending with the cruise so we're going to the same places on the cruise we're going to coco k and nassau but yeah we are on our way we are officially on holiday so we have eaten at this little burrito place i had tacos because i'm not a fan of burritos and now we are at ron john's surf shop just you know have a look around see if there's anything to buy some people want specific things and I've just never been in one so here we go we came we saw I think dad and Sam bought something and I bought myself a little tiny pin because I like putting pins on my jacket it's my red bomber jacket that I wear that one has a few pins on it too but we are now all very tired it is 10 to 2 back in the UK and it is 10 to 9 here in Florida I think we've done quite well why am I still wearing this mask now outside I think we've done quite well to stay up as long as we have but we think we'd all very much like to go to bed now and sleep wake up bright and early in the morning we found the goods but we found these ones which has lollies hard candy and 
plastic candy in it. So uh, I think we're gonna get this one because it's a bit different. They don't have any small ones, which is what we're really after. So this one will have to do. Plus it's actually slightly cheaper as well. And Matthew's found something. Mickey Mouse Mickey gold, <laughs> Mickey <fish>. goldfish. <laughs> sweets. It's a shame it's a big bag, but can you fit this in your case? Yeah, probably. We got what we needed. We got what we needed. So we found the Jolly Ranchers. I got my hair curler. Mum got her reading glasses and a pair of sunglasses. Put sunscreen. We are in a mall. We have our Bath and Body Works hauls. We all have like each individual bags. <laughs> Because we have to stock up on our hand sanitizer when we come to America because you cannot get hand sanitizer in the UK. Next now does Bath and Body Works stuff in some of their stores. Um, but it's only like the the shower gels and things like that and the body sprays. And um, they don't do the hand sanitizer, so we had to stock up. And I bought a new case for mine because my old one is very much on the way out. I discovered this morning it is ripping right there so it might not last much longer which is a shame because it lights up and it's so so cool mum got herself a new case as well because it's got a clip on it but she got this shark and the shark lights up too oh it's a better shark than mine it's like shark. a proper torch awesome we're just gonna have a drink at this little cafe we found here um before we head to the ship because then we'll be in the ship and then I think everyone will officially feel like we're on holiday because at the moment people some people don't feel like we are on holiday but we are because we're in Florida <laughs> so we're definitely on holiday okay now are we officially on holiday we're on the ship we, we're at the windjammer we've got lunch although mine seems very sporadic this is what I'm having so we've just arrived at our room here we go just like a standard cabin we have a balcony. We also have a very funny story to tell you. Oh look, and you've got water and snacks. <gasps> water and snacks! <gasps> That's because That took me and Matthew ages to eat those cookies last time. So, we've got a funny story to tell you. Because this, the entire reason we're going on this cruise is just to build up some, some of our points, because um, mum and dad's points are really far, and Sam's was really far, but Matthew's was really low. So we're like, we'll do a quick three day cruise while we're when we do the Disney holiday, just to kind of bump them up. We'll do it as cheap as possible. We'll get like cheap rooms. So we originally booked rooms on deck two. The boys and I have managed to somehow get upgrades for free. We did nothing. We just got an email saying, you've been upgraded to a different room and we're now on deck nine. Mum and dad, on the other hand, they were like, we'll bid, we'll pay for an upgrade, just pick us. They got declined for their upgrade, but they've arrived to check in today and they've been given an upgrade to a room on deck eight. So we've somehow, all of us, received upgrades for free. We have no idea what mum and dad's room is like though. They are right on the front of the ship and we're gonna go have a look at what it is because they have no clue because they, as I said, they bid for a, a specific upgrade and they didn't get it and they've been given this one and they don't know what it's like. So we're gonna, I'm gonna take you with us because it could be a pretty special room if it's right on the front of the ship because apparently there's only two of these rooms. So that'll be fun. Our room just got swishier. This is our balcony. We are the very end one. How in the world did you swing this? How? <laughs> Apparently, Dad's found a rubber duck and I have to come and vlog it. Wait, how? That you actually have found a rubber duck? <laughs> well, how did you? Oh, well, look, you found a duck. Keep or high, you decide. Oh, cool. I think we are in the process of sta sailing away and Disney Dream has just gone by as well, down there. So I think for the time being, I'm gonna actually read a book for about half an hour-ish. I've been reading The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes, which, you know, it's like taken me two years to get around to reading. I have thoughts. I'm not 100% what my thoughts are yet at the moment. <laughs> it is, I know it takes place in the same place, but it does take place like 64 years prior to the first Hunger Games book, but it's very different. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm not quite sure how much I'm actually gonna film on the cruise. But yes, the real filming begins on Monday when we get to Disney. Oh, I just played the Disney tune, the magic all the way out there. Very, very 
very faint in the background. Still good, I didn't catch that on camera when I was actually on the Disney ship. down to dinner and we're going to try and hide hide this duck is what we're going to do we're thinking maybe putting it in a planter but it has to be in a public place it's one of the rules of the duck what if you chucked him down the side of the map trying to be nonchalant and inconspicuous there that's what i thought because then people can see it down the stairs duck has been hidden, currently hidden, on deck seven, behind a little map sign. Now for dinner. Good morning. It is about almost ten to six and, sorry, ten to seven. <laughs> I can't read the clock. Here is our first view of the Coco Cape. There it is, out in the distance. I think there's also another Royal Caribbean ship. Here we are on the pier for Coco K. We're just gonna have a wander around, so we see what it's like. Term. Looks like there's gonna be about three different cruise ships on this island at the same time, because we've got our cruise ship, then you've got this one here, which is the Freedom, and then you've got the Celebrity behind us, which we think is gonna be tendering. There's three Royal Caribbean ships, Royal Caribbean family ships, all on Coco K on the same day. So we've been outside I don't even know how long. I literally walked from the boat which you can see over there and we walked around to here. People are just popping to the bathroom. Um, we're going to try and walk around to maybe the furthest beach. There is a floating bar out there. Hopefully it'll be a bit quieter because it is further around. People might not want to walk that far. But Good morning and welcome to Nassau Bahamas. Just over there. We are in the middle of docking. We are currently turning the boat around. So we're getting quite a nice view of a lot of things. Oops. One second, let me wipe, you wipe. Let me wipe the lens. There, better. That's something you don't have to deal with early on in the morning in um, the UK. So that's the mainland of Nassau. That's the inlet to the docks. That's like this little island bit which I've faced many a time when we've docked, so <laughs> it looks like we'll be facing again. We have three other cruise ships coming in. One, two, and another one in the distance. Looks like we might be catching a little bit of sunrise as well. Over there, and I think that there is um, Atlantis, I think. I don't think we're going to get much of the sunrise because there's clouds in the way, but you can kind of see the, the glory of it. That's fine. Oh, you're steaming up again. Let me get that for you, darling. 